to Food for Thought. Today we're going to discuss an exciting topic, lab-grown meat, or as these companies prefer to be called, cell-based meat. The goal of these startups is to eventually be able to feed the growing population without having to slaughter animals, while also providing us with real, actual meat. While this topic might seem new to some of you, it's actually been around for a while. In fact, Winston Churchill predicted that by 1981, we shall escape the absurdity of growing a whole chicken in order to eat the breast or wing by growing these parts separately under a sustainable medium. While he was guessing, in 2001, bioengineer Morris Benjaminson at New York Toro College was able to take fresh goldfish muscle cells and place them in nutrient-rich fetal bovine serum which led to him to discover they could cause still living muscle cells to divide and produce more muscle cells. Later in 2008, Norway hosted the first ever conference on test tube meat making. By 2012, around 30 different research teams around the world were working on lab grown meat. Today, we have over a dozen startup companies in the cell based meat sector. We have Memphis Meats, Blue Nalu, New Age Meats, Finless Foods, and Modern Meadows, to name a few. You may be asking how they do this wondrous feat. So let's take a look at this amazing process. First, they take a small amount of stem cells from the specified meat of choice, such as cow, pork, fish, etc. They then place them in a nutrient-rich environment inside a petri dish. As the stem cells grow and proliferate, they will eventually separate and then be induced to create fat and muscle cells. They will then put them back together in a bioreactor to assemble and start looking similar to real animal flesh. This is definitely an interesting sector, especially because it could end the slaughtering of animals, which to most people is a positive. Although there are a few drawbacks, the first being the cost. It's still very expensive to create. This makes it difficult to compete with the traditional meat industry, at least right now. According to Brian Spears from New Age Meats, their 100 gram sausage costs around $190. The next drawback is that one of the main components in making cell-based meat is fetal bovine serum, or FBS. This is the fluid extracted from the placenta of a cow fetus. This fluid is one of the main nutrient broths used because it's such a great matrix for growing the cells and providing essential nutrients, but this is as bad as it sounds. Therefore, the meat is not free from animal slaughter and isn't exactly clean as some enthusiasts claim. Although many of the startups are looking for alternatives to this serum or ways to mimic it without utilizing FBS. Lastly, FBS is very expensive. It's about 1,000 euros per liter, which equates to $1,143.08 per liter in US dollars. Therefore, the industry still has some changes to go through before we're consuming cell-based meat on a large scale, but it's definitely a sector to be watching and be aware of as it grows. Thank you for joining me today on Food for Thought. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be updated when I post new content. Bye!